is Sir Jim Radcliffe the highest bidder for Manchester United following the April 28th deadline? What does that mean for us fans going forward? And how long will it take until a potential preferred bidder is revealed? I've been reading a lot of news, Mike Keegan from the Daily Mail, Ben Jacobs also put out a little thread on Twitter, I'll put it in the link in the description that explains things a lot more in depth and helps me at least to understand the situation because there's been a lot of confusion going on about what's, what's true and what's not true to be fair, where Sheikh Yassin's bid is in and around 5 billion and that includes potentially the debt and the investment that he's going to put into the club. Whereas Sir Jim Radcliffe's bid that apparently is valued over 5 billion, it's just a straight up valuation of the club. So what Ben Jacobs in the thread explained is that the Glazers only care about the valuation of the club at this moment of time. They don't care about the investment and they don't care about the, the debt. So if this is true, in which Sheikh Yassim's bid includes the debt and investment, then it would actually be Sir Jim Radcliffe who is the highest bidder right now. And that's why this evening, afternoon, it was revealed that he is in pole position to be the new owner of Manchester United, or at least to be the preferred bidder in the next stage in seven to ten days. There have been some concerns within the Manchester United fan base in regards to Sir Jim Radcliffe's structure when it comes to wanting to be the Manchester United owner. As at the start of the week, it was reported that he would have been willing to allow the Glazers to stay at the club. Shout out to Super Nick, somebody within the community who sent me some things and brought things to my attention. Now, when the Glazers put Manchester United on the stock market, there are things called Class A shares and Class B shares, in which Avram and Joel hold the Class B shares, which gives them full power. They are the majority, they have majority voting rights, sorry, at Manchester United, whereas everybody else who holds the Class A shares is a little below them in the pecking order. We were all worried, or I was worried after hearing that, saying if Sir Jim allows them to stay on the board, then if they have Class B shares, then surely they would be allowed or they would still have the majority voting rights. But as the week has gone on, it has been confirmed that Sir Jim Radcliffe, especially after the deadline, wants full power at Manchester United. And he doesn't mind if the Glazers stay on or if he just takes the Glazers 69% and he is the one there. He is the guy full in control and the Glazers are away from Manchester United. But my concern is with the Glazers staying number one, us as fans just want to see them go. It's almost been two decades of suffering for Manchester United. And this is before I started watching football. <laughs> Those two decades started when I was a youngin. So that is my biggest concern, or one of my biggest concerns at least. I think the Glazers just being there, says to me that they still have an opportunity to influence what's going on in and around Manchester United and that doesn't sit well with me. Now, going more into the Sir Jim Radcliffe side of things, he inherits the debt into Ineos and he gradually pays that off, whereas Sheikh Yassim is offering to pay that debt off instantly. And also with Sir Jim Radcliffe, how would all of that affect, for example, the investment that goes back into the men's team, the women's team, the academy, the training ground, rebuilding Old Trafford? Because in his latest bid, he hasn't, or reportedly hasn't put out a pledge to say that he is going to invest. Now, we do expect him to do that further down the line, I guess, if he is the preferred bidder, but he hasn't done that or guaranteed that as yet. And I think so, uh, I think Ben Jacobs on a video on United People's TV kind of said the Glazers did the same thing where they said, hey, they were going to invest. And almost 20 years later, have they really done much at Manchester United? No. Now, Sheikh Yassim, where the complications come in, his bid at the 
April 28th deadline is that first people were saying that it was just a little over 5 billion, but now it's being reported that potentially that could be mixed in with the debt that he includes. He wants to pay off first and foremost, and the investment that he's going to put into Manchester United it is really confusing to be fair. But if that's the case, then that would make Sir Jim Radcliffe's bid higher. And also another thing to keep in your mind is that it was reported by Mike Keegan, I believe, that Sir Jim Radcliffe is in pole position to become the preferred bidder or potentially to be the new owner of Manchester United due to that fact. So there's a lot of worry within the fan base there's a lot of worry within myself there's a lot of confusion and I've tried to keep away from this whole situation when it comes to the ownership because it started to feel like it was dragging on and on and on but now we're given seven to ten days for the Glazers to think about what they want to do and then make a decision and in those seven to ten days that could be one of the biggest answers one of the biggest moments in the history of or the modern day history, should I say, of Manchester United. So let me know in the comment section below how you're feeling about this situation. And also, if I got anything wrong explaining it, I just wanted to vent to the camera and see what you guys thought. But if I missed out anything or get any got anything wrong, sorry, let me know in the comment section below. Tag me on Twitter at CM22ENT and we can have a conversation about it and I can kind of clear some things up. But... Yeah, like I said, this is a big 7 to 10 days for Manchester United. For the future of Manchester United. Now, it seems like online, a lot of the fans are wanting the new owner to be Sheikh Yassin bin Hamad Al Thani. But it looks like all the keys are favouring Sir Jim Radcliffe. My question to you in the comments would be, who is your preferred owner and what are the characteristics of your preferred owner? Another thing I wanted to mention before the end of this video was that tomorrow, April 30th, I'm filming on the 29th, there will be a protest at Old Trafford for, or before should I say, the Aston Villa game. To those who are going and attending, make your voices heard, make your points valid because this may be the very last opportunity for us Manchester United fans. And the reason I say us is because it's not just the people who are at Old Trafford who can have a voice. It's the people online who can have a voice. Everybody around the world must have a voice. And we must be heard. And this may be the very final opportunity given this 7 to 10 day waiting period where we have the chance to truly get our points across to the Glazers at their current home in England, at Manchester United, at Old Trafford. So let's make our voices heard. Enjoy the game tomorrow or today, depending on when this video comes out. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, share to your friends and frenemies, and let me know what you're thinking in the comment section below. Until the next time, I'll see you lots in a bit.